Hello, I'm a member of the Genome Connect and ClinGen patient data sharing program team. In this video, we will discuss secondary finding. To review, genetic variants are changes in our DNA. While most of our DNA sequence is the same from person to person, we all have genetic variants. Some variants can affect how proteins work in the body and cause developmental or health differences. Others are just part of what makes us who we are and are not related to health or disease. Exome and genome sequencing are two tests that look for genetic variants. Exome sequencing looks for variants in parts of our genes that provide our body with instructions. As a reminder, these parts of genes are called exomes, and our exomes are called our exomes. Genome sequencing looks for all variants in our genetic material in the coding and non-coding portions called our exons and our introns. All of our exons and introns together are called our genome. There are multiple reasons a person might have genetic testing like exome or genome sequencing. For example, a clinician may order genetic testing for an individual with health concerns or developmental differences that may be caused by genetic variants. In some cases, genetic testing, including exome or genome sequencing, may also be ordered based on ultrasound findings in a pregnancy. There are also other indications to have exome and genome sequencing. Because exome and genome sequencing looks broadly across a person's genes, there is the opportunity to look for genetic variants that are not related to the individual's current health concerns. A secondary finding is a genetic variant unrelated to the initial reason for testing but is a finding that could change the medical care for the individual undergoing testing. Changing medical care could possibly prevent disease or catch disease earlier. In 2013, the American College of Medical Genetics and Genomics, or ACMG, began to provide guidance for examining and reporting secondary findings through clinical exome and genome sequencing. ACMG's recommendations includes a list of genes that should be examined as secondary findings. ACMG updates this list periodically. The ACMG Secondary Finding Maintenance Working Group Committee reviews a number of factors before adding a gene to the secondary finding list, such as what is the potential impact this genetic variant could have on someone's health? What is the chance of developing that health concern? What are the other available screening and treatment options? What is the impact of these screening and treatment options? As of 2023, there are 81 genes on the ACMG secondary findings list. If a person's testing included examination of secondary findings, the laboratory will look for pathogenic or disease-causing variants within the secondary finding genes. If the laboratory identifies a pathogenic or disease-causing variant in one of these genes, the result is shared with the patient and their clinician. For example, an individual may have exome sequencing to look for a genetic cause for syndromic hearing loss. When the test is performed, since testing includes looking at secondary findings, the laboratory will also look at genes on the secondary finding list. These are genes unrelated to hearing loss but could change this person's medical care. For example, the secondary findings gene list includes some genes that cause an increased risk for cancer, like BRCA1 and BRCA2. These genes cause an increased risk for certain cancers like breast, ovarian, and prostate cancers. There are different cancer screening recommendations for individuals with pathogenic variants in these genes. Other secondary findings are associated with cardiovascular or heart conditions like familiar hypocholesterolemia. Familiar hypocholesterolemia is a condition that causes high cholesterol levels and can cause early cardiovascular disease. Individuals with pathogenic variants in familiar hypocholesterolemia genes benefit from being followed by a cardiologist and appropriate screening, cholesterol testing, and medical management like cholesterol-lowering medication. The secondary finding gene list also includes genes that are associated with other health conditions. All of the genes on the secondary finding list are associated with medically actionable conditions, which means there are available medical interventions, preventative options, or care changes that may influence the clinical course of that condition in an individual. Please watch our other videos to learn more information about genetics. 
Our other videos go more in depth about some other topics mentioned in this video, like genetic testing and other genetic concepts. Thank you for watching our video about secondary finding. If you are thinking about having genetic testing or have questions about your results, we recommend speaking with a genetics professional. If you have general questions about secondary findings or other genetic related topics, you can reach us at info at genomeconnect.org or at datashare at clinicalgenome.org or by phone at 570-214-1721 or the toll-free number is 855-322-7683. Thank you.